for another onslaught of record-breaking anarchy. This is Guinness World Record Smashed! Tonight, an eco-friendly approach to getting a car from A to B. Steve and Connie check out a supermarket challenge. Plus, martial arts with a mystery celebrity guest. But first, please go a little crazy and welcome your hosts, Steve Jones and Connie Hawk. Welcome to Guinness World Record Smash, the only show that actively encourages you to find that unique talent from deep within, to harness it and become the very best you possibly can, no matter how bizarre. Huckington couldn't be more right. Forget Olympic gold medals, forget World Cup winners medals, forget even the TV Quick Best Soap Storyline Award, because this <laughs> right here is the pinnacle of human achievement, the Guinness World Records Champions Medal. This is one from my own personal collection. First up, though, we kick things off with a record that requires not only skill and finesse, but also sheer, ugly, raw, naked, sweaty brute force. That's right. Woo, indeed. Our first record this evening is car rolling. This here is half a ton of car. The aim of this record is to push it over 360 degrees so it lands back on its wheels in the quickest time possible, much like this. Uh, do you know what? I reckon we should bring out some proper men. Our first contenders are three slabs of beefcake with the combined weight of 53 stones. They stand at over 17 feet tall, and being professional rugby players, they're trained to push things. It's Pete, Johnny and Jarvis. <laughs> Big, massive, huge, bulging gentlemen, what would it mean to you to set a Guinness world record tonight for yourselves and for the world of rugby? Uh, well, it would mean a lot to us, you know, we've been training very hard. It would be great to put one over the spandex monkeys. Oh, yes! <laughs> Our rivals to the rugby players are also trained to push things, then put them in a headlock before slamming their faces into the canvas and tying their legs in a knot with their own intestines. Please welcome pro wrestlers, babyface boy and the governor. <laughs> I detect a hint of irony in the names. You look like train killers. Train killers? Sunshine, we're more than that. You've got Leroy Kincaid, Andy Boy Simmons, the Governor Martin Stone. Collectively, the three of us are Britain's hardest! <laughs> <laughs> OK, let's get the record on the road. Please welcome the righteous Marco Frigatron Frigatti. <laughs> So, for this record to stand, you need to turn the car in less than seven seconds. Guys, who do you want to go first? Yeah, we'll go first, thanks. All oh, right, get stuck in then, go for it. Peter, over to you. OK, then, it's the uh, rugby team first. Marco, are you ready? Marco Pronto. Rugby players, are you ready? They are. OK, three, two, one. Push! So Johnny, Pete and Jervis, fearsome on the field, but what about the car park? And they're off to a blisteringly fast start to stop the clock. That's it. Boom! As fast as that. Let's take another quick look at that in slow motion. A great scrum technique and team play there, helping the rugby boys. It was a very, very good attempt. 6.13 seconds. It's a new Guinness World Record. Guys, that was pretty awesome. Everyone needs to try and do this in five. Five seconds. Four. Give it a go. Up you go. Go for it, guys. Peter, it's over to you. Well, One second. there's fighting talk. The wrestlers up for a challenge, all right, and they take their positions next to the car. Marco, are you ready? Marco, pronto. He is. Wrestlers, are you ready? You bet they are. In three, two, one, push! And with the great smell of men and brute force in the studio, the wrestlers are off. The clock stops when all four wheels are back, and there it is, stop the clock. 
three of the biggest names in wrestling. Let's take another look at that attempt in slow motion. That was fast. As over 500 kilograms of someone's former pride and joy catapults across the studio. Have they beaten the rugby players? Oh my goodness. That looked extraordinary. How was that for you? Easy as pie. <laughs> Marco, the time was 6 25. Oh! The first round goes to the rugby players. Wow. It's not over yet, is another it? Attempt, yeah, yeah, another attempt. Boys, you're currently record holders already. Would you like your second attempt to better it? Yes, we would. Okay, take up your positions, boys. Peter? So, the pressure still on the rugby players. They've still got their own record to beat. Can they do it? Can they better it this time? Okay, guys. Three, two, one, push! The smell of blood, engine oil and victory is in the air as Johnny, Pete and Trevor's push their way. It's a victory, come on, lads! There it is, the clock stopped. Let's take a final look at this once again in slow motion. A Herculean effort of grit, strength and determination. The studio quite literally awash in blood, sweat and tears. Oh, yes. Connie. That looked very fast, but just to keep a bit of jeopardy in the mix, we're not going to give you your time just yet. Well done, by the way, guys. You guys, I can't help but feel you can do this. I, re I really, I really believe you can. What are your tactics? All we can do now is flip it and see what happens. Great tactic, get in there. Peter, over to you. Well, woe betide if you ever fortunate enough to park in their parking spot. OK, boys, in three, two, one, push! And it's going to take every ounce of strength at the heave and push and control this car back on its wheels. And there it is, teeth gritted, muscles straining. Have they done it? We'll hear in a moment. But just look at that explosive technique from the governor. Raw power unleashed. Who, though, is the victor? Steve. How do you think it went? Have to wait and see, won't we? I really can't tell. Uh, what we do know so far is the current Guinness World Records are on this side of the studio with uh, six, six point thirteen, phenomenal. But we we don't know it this morning. And time. it looked flipping good. With a time of five point twenty five seconds to five point fifty three seconds. Oh no way! So we both done better. Okay. The second round is won by the rugby players, <laughs> and it's a new Guinness World Record. <laughs> it was faster. It deserves three medals. On they go. Uh, guys, are there any kind words you'd like to pass on to our rugby players? Oh, congratulations, maybe. Being the sportsman that the three of us are, right? We can always carry on and train to break your world record, but we're always going to be better looking than you. <laughs> and there's two things you can do about that. That's nothing and like it, sunshine. <laughs> Gracious in defeat. Gracious in defeat. Guys, let's hear it for our wrestlers and our Guinness World Record holding rugby players. Well done, guys. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Thank you. That was cracking. Oh, yes. A great start to the show there with three more people smashing their way into the record books. And there is so much more to come, Peter. You're not wrong, love. Still to come, our mystery celebrity will be giving a record attempt the cold shoulder. And Connie and Steve do a spot of work experience down the local supermarket. So join us after the break. Nicker eating, boyfriend bashing. I don't really want to come here with the bird. And pretty whiffy. Oh, it's quite.